So my name is Meg Rapley. I'm the director of Phoenix Spikes. Phoenix Spikes is a nonprofit um, youth development organization, sorry, organization in Arlington, Virginia. And our mission is to educate youth, promote bicycling, and build community. Number 12 is looks like this or like this. Yes, specifically uh, extra hex wrench because this has six sides, so that's where the hex comes from. Some people call it Allen wrench, but that's really just Amanda's husband, Allen. So one of the um, reasons that we have a specific um, women trans femme night called All the Cycle Ladies is because we find it as a great way to promote our mission, the pieces specifically of building community and promoting bicycling. We definitely understand and, and can notice observably that there's probably about one um, Women, a uh, woman who identifies um, as a woman uh, cycling um, as compared to three men out there. So we wanted to try to kind of decrease the um, gender gap um, and make sure that uh, bicycling is open to everyone. So this All the Cycle Ladies program helps promote that. So for All the Cycle Ladies, we meet on the third Wednesday of every month. So it's a monthly opportunity. It's free. It's open to all. Um, and we go through a bunch of different maintenance skill sets and also riding skill sets to make sure that um, people feel comfortable um, being on a bike, whether it's for the first time or to learn maintenance skills so they can keep on riding um, as long as they want. All right, what's next? Yeah. Evelyn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So yeah, I've been working for Phoenix Bikes for about two and a half years. Um, I've always been a cyclist, but more recreationally, and didn't really understand the um, the power of the bicycle as much as I did once I started working here. Um, I'm a social worker by education, and I realize um, the awesome intersection of bicycling. Um, for social justice and um, specifically um, for women's issues. I've been, she's, we've been married for a while and she's been around bikes for as long as I've known her. So uh, within the last, what, three years, I guess, we've, I've kind of gotten into cycling and I figured it was kind of time to learn a little bit more about my own bike because I really don't know anything other than getting on it and riding it. And if there's something that's wrong and she's not around that I need to know, you know, how to try to fix it or take it off. Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep coming back. Um, so I'm just getting into cycling. Um, I signed up for my first triathlon, so I did just get a new bike, um, but I'm not sure how to fix a flat tire. I'm not sure the main parts of the bike, the importance of each part. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to kind of get hands on with my bike if, if something were to happen. So I think this is awesome that they offer this. I was really excited. Um, so. We pride ourselves at Phoenix Bikes on being a very welcoming space naturally, so I would say that our intentional focus on being more open um, to everyone in the shop helps everybody. It makes us um, actively have a culture that's more welcoming to all, um, if that makes sense. So, um, And we also are trying to make sure that um, by having you know a whim, an adult women's group, we're also intentionally trying to bring up more young women into the program. So we have uh, our Chain Breakers Girls Group. We also partner, we have a patch program for Girl Scouts. Um, so just a bunch of different ways to encourage um, people that might otherwise not be inclined to come into a bike shop, um, have them come in, feel really welcome, and get their hands dirty.